In this video, we're going to take a look at how to design a funnel in a parametric fashion so that you can change a couple dimensions and you can have basically any funnel that you want. Uh, funnels are just a useful model to have on hand uh, in case you're trying to pour liquids from one vessel to another, but this just allows you to change all the parameters on it on the fly and suit your needs as best as you can. And so you can see here just changing these dimensions, we basically have control of the entire model. And let's take a look at how to get here. So we're going to start from a new file. I'm not going to use the configure tab at all because that's not available in the free version. Uh, but we are going to build this based on parameters. And so I've basically made a little sketch outlining what dimensions I'm going to need. And we're going to make all of these parameters before we do any modeling at all. So we're going to start with FH which is going to be the funnel height. And we can just give this 50 for now. And I like to name everything completely in the comments of so funnel height. And we're also gonna run into an issue here where I wanted to use TH, um, but there are some reserved variables in Fusion that won't allow this to happen. And so this was the tube height um, but it actually also happens to be an obscure unit of measure called a Thompson, uh, which is a mass to charge ratio, but I didn't know that at the time of creating this. And so instead of TH, I'm gonna use TL for tube length, and that's what we're gonna call it here. So basically you can't use any unit of measure as your variable name, and so you couldn't use MM or things like that, or A for amperes just something to keep in mind when you're creating your variables if it won't let you use one wt is going to be our wall thickness and we're going to make that two millimeters to begin with and then we have a large diameter lb that's going to be our entrance to the funnel And we'll call that 100 for now. And then we're going to have a small diameter, an SD. Diameter. We'll call that 20. One, two, three, four, five. We got all five of our variables that we need. Our parameters here, we'll hit OK. And now we can start modeling. And so we're going to start from that base plane there with a circle, D for dimension. And now we can give it the small diameter. And so we're being conscious of what we're actually dimensioning here. The small diameter is going to represent the outside of the funnel because you're usually trying to get a funnel to fit inside of another uh, vessel. So we want to be able to change the parameter and have it fit inside of another container and so we have to keep in, uh, in mind and then we'll do an extrude from here so i just hit e on the keyboard and now we want to go up by the tube height but we actually name that tube length so tl and i'll hit enter and then enter again so now we have the tube that's going to go into our vessel and from here we can create a offset plane and we're going to offset it the distance of the funnel height, so FH, enter, enter. And on this plane, we're going to create a sketch and then use a circle. And now this is going to be the large diameter. So we'll dimension that to D and LD for large diameter, enter, enter. And now we have the overall shape once we do a loft. So I'll finish that sketch and we are going to loft between these two circles here. Loft this circle to that circle. And that's our overall shape. That's what we want. Hit OK. And the final feature that we need to add is a shell. So we're going to shell from both those faces so that they're both open. And then the Inside thickness is going to be our wall thickness. So WT, enter, enter. And there we have it. That is a funnel 
fully created based on the parameters that we've set up at the beginning of this video. So we can change the parameters here. Maybe this will be 75. We'll make the walls really thick for some reason. And maybe this needs to only be 20. Ooh, that does not look good. 75. And we can scroll over to give us a better idea of what we're actually changing. So maybe the small diameter actually needs to be, I don't know, maybe it needs to be 40. Maybe a weirdly shaped one funnel. We want large diameter. Let's change that to 150. There you go. That's a better looking funnel. But you get the idea. You can change the parameters and now you have any funnel you could ever need uh, without any fancy geometry essentially, but from one opening to another, you could uh, transfer liquids or powders or solids or whatever you're trying to move. I'll, uh, I'll include the Fusion 360 model in the Maker World uh, upload that I'll put in the description. This model makes it incredibly easy to recreate a funnel that I made in a really old video of mine. Uh, but large diameter, we did 100. And the funnel was used to transfer coffee into my AeroPress Go from my uh, coffee grinder. And basically, we just have to input these dimensions and we're off to the races. Funnel height is 30. And that's perfect, just like that. We'll hit OK. From here, we can export. I like to export as a step into Bamboo Studio. Uh, I'll call it parametric funnel. Brought it into Bamboo Studio here. I sliced it on the default settings, didn't change anything, and sent it over to the A1 Mini for printing.